Hello children, how are you doing? It's Friday, time for the weekend. I hope you've had a really good Friday. We're going to read a book called Lucky Duck. Okay. When I was a little girl, we used to read a book about Ducky, Lucky, Goosey, Lucy, Henny, Penny. I was reading it with Luke the other day. And his mom also said she remembers all those, those characters. So this is just Lucky Duck. Okay, written by Jonathan Shipton and Suzanne Viederin. Okay, why is this duck lucky? Should we find out? Okay, when Lenny was a very little boy, his dad bought him a really special toy duck. Do you see sitting with his dad on his lap? It looks so real, this toy duck, eh? Hey? Oh, we've got a nice fireplace going, look there. Hey, feels like we could have that today. Duck was Lenny's best thing. And whatever Lenny did, Duck did too. They played together, they read together. Even when Lenny went to nursery, Duck had his own special place to sit. Hmm, we've had some children at school like that. They bring their teddy or their special toy to school, hey? And Casey, Casey's got a Benny, hey? That's his special toy. So, when they went to the seaside to visit Gran, Lenny made sure there was an extra blanket and a spade for Duck. Lenny really liked playing on the beach, so did Duck. Sometimes they paddled together, Sometimes they built sand castles with flags on top. That looks like fun, hey? But one day, when it was time to go home, somewhere in the rush of packing and kissing goodbye, Lenny's little dog got lost. When Lenny realized, well, he had never been so unhappy in all his life. They searched the house upside down and inside out. How do you feel when you lose something? It's terrible. They even looked all along the beach, but they couldn't find Duck anywhere. Poor Lenny had to go all the way home without his Duck to cuddle. Yeah. Lenny tried hard to be brave, but he missed his duck so much. Even though he had lots of other lovely toys, no one was quite as special as Duck. Every night, for a long time, Duck would appear in Lenny's dreams, and Lenny would wonder where Duck was and what he was doing. Poor little boy. But time passed and Lenny grew up. He began to play with lots of different toys, as one does. And he nearly forgot about the little duck with an orange beak and bright button eyes. Nearly, but not quite. She's a big boy now, eh? What do big boys do? He's playing games, listening to music, he's uh, on a skateboard, playing soccer. But he sees a little duck there and it reminds him of his little friend, eh? Hey? Many years later, when Lenny was all grown up, he had a little boy of his own. He called him Ben. One summer, Lenny took Ben to visit Gran at the seaside. It was cold and raining, and Ben was very bored. So Lenny said, You know, when I was little, I always loved exploring. Why don't you see what you can find? So the dad told Benny to go and explore. That's a good thing to do when you're feeling a bit bored. Go explore. Ben crawled inside Gran's old wardrobe, her old cupboard. He looked under the beds. Then he found something little up 
by the stairs and he climbed all the way up into the attic. When Ben came down, he just couldn't stop smiling. He was holding something white and fluffy and he held it out to show Lenny. What did he find? So he found something in the attic, eh? Hey? White and fluffy, what do you think it could be? <gasps> Guess what it is? A rhino, a giraffe, a horse. What is it, children? It's duck. He found duck. His orange beak was a little bit dirty and his white fur was very dusty, but he was still the same soft, cuddly duck. Look at Daddy Lenny now. He's very happy. He's like, oh, I know that. And that's what happens with some lucky ducks. They get lost and they get squashed and they get left behind. But one day, one day, what happens? <gasps> they find their boy. Oh, look there. So now that's the dad that had the duck originally. And that's his boy, Ben. And now Ben gets to enjoy the lucky duck, hey? And look there. There's a Harvey dog. Does it look like Harvey? It does, hey? A little bit smaller than Harvey. <gasps> so he was a lucky duck. He got found. Shame that he had to wait for a long time, hey? He was all alone in the attic. Shame that look how squashed he is and how lost he is. Got squashed by a boat and a book. That's why he was so dirty, eh? Hey? Oh, have you ever lost a toy? Well, I hope you found it again. I remember when my youngest son, we were at the beach, and my older son buried one of his little action men in the sand just to play a joke on him. And even though we were sitting right there and we saw him bury it, we could never find it again. To this day, don't know what happened to it. <laughs> and we dug everywhere. <laughs> so I don't know how that, how that disappeared. Maybe that action man didn't want to be found. Hmm. He scuttled off and said, I'm going to go live a life of my own. Don't know what happened. But anyway, we, had, we did have to buy another toy to make up for the one we'd lost, you know. So I suppose that's what parents do. Okay, children, you must sleep tight and you must have a lovely weekend, okay? I'm going to message you tomorrow. Bye.